racing. She's jumped away with the northeast Sheila, and he's going to go across to the inside. And away fast is uh, Jolly's Folly inside when they settle down. But northeast Sheila has gone straight across to the inside. Let out a length and a half now to Jolly's Folly, and moving up in the middle is Oak Valley, showing good speed as Ebony Beauty. Second, Oak Valley third. Then Jolly's Folly, two or three further back, Happy Spring. And last of them is Der Best. North East Sheila is hard over on the inside at the 450 metre mark, and she's gone out three in front and under a good hold from Ebony Beauty, giving a crack with a whip. Two lengths further back in the race then came to the outside is Jolly's Folly. Back in the middle, Oak Valley, and there's space the others, Happy Spring and Der Best. But North East Sheila down at the 180 metre mark. He lets her down, and she's put about five on them. Jolly's Folly up to second from Oak Valley. Forget the others. North East Sheila, a most impressive debut. A jump and running filly and she wins in a canter. North East Sheila wins at about seven lengths. Oak Valley second. A half to Jolly's Folly third. Eight lengths further back then came Happy Spring. Then Ebony Beauty and last of all is Der Best. And the winner number six, North East Sheila, 140, 110. Seven Oak Valley, 840 for Jolly's Folly, no third. The late on the Super Tab, 6 North East Sheila, 130-110, 7 Oak Valley to pay 650, and the winner third for four Jolly's Folly, the late scratching there of number five. National Racing Service updating race. And he goes in. Racing this time, Deep Snip, one of the last out in company with our Mr. Kinman and Fantasia from the inside. First out, joined and headed by Don Tristram, Dance Till Dawn, third. Going quickly is the Grey Zayla, followed by Snar Dame, Stately King, and then Ken Quest, Peep on the Sly. Yobro caught a little wide, magical path the inside, about two lengths to Mars King, Deep Snip. Luther second last, and two and a half lengths to our Mr. Kinman. Inside the 1200, and going to the first corner, Don Tristram is the leader. Three quarters, Dance Till Dawn, a length the Fantasia on the inside of Zayla, a length and a half to Ken Quest, pretty wide from Stately King and Snar Dame between horses. Two to Peep on the Sly, and then Yo Bro, followed by Magical Path, Mars King Luther. Deep Snipper's second last, and two lengths to our Mr. Kinman. They're stringing out now, going to the halfway at the 800 and dance till dawn from Zayla. Third on the inside is Don Tristram, and two and a half to Fantasia. Three further back is Ken Quest on the outside of Snar Dame, and two to Yo Bro. Peep on the Sly called a on by Greg Hall, passing Stately King, and then a gap of a length to Magical Path, and further away Mars King Luther, Deep Snipper, long second last, and two and a half to our Mr. Kinman, around the corner they travel, Don Tristram leads narrowly from Dance Till Dawn now, getting a beautiful run between them, Fantasia then Zayla, two to Snar Dame Ken Quest, and Yo Bro Peep on the slice a minute away, but Fantasia race clear to the 120, and Fantasia put three Don Tristram, followed by Ken Quest. Luther's coming home well, but it's all Fantasia, and Fantasia wins it well. Mars King got home well for second. Luther third. Ken Quest fourth. Then Don Tristram, our Mr. Kinman. Deep Snip followed in by Peep on the Sly with Snar Dame. Dance Till Dawn. Zayla stopping quickly on the last three. Yo Bro, Magical Path, and Stately King. Seven Fantasia to return 4.51.86. Six Mars King to pay $2.05. Luther, 2.60. Hey Cassidy has scored and on the New South Wales tote has paid 4.40 and 1.70. He's certainly back into the form now that he displayed earlier in his career. And uh, he got a beautiful run and uh, just got the split in the straight and raced on. Nothing else really threatened over the latter part. Number seven is first. And uh, we will find Miners going to six and five, and there they are now. Six Mars King is second in New South Wales. The tote dividend is 240. And number five, third Luther L. Cassidy has paid $2.80. The winner Fantasia trained on the track by Gay Waterhouse for Mrs. D.A. Dollamore, G.T. Brantman, A. Mazin, A. Zeon, G.J. Illingworth, and the H.G. Syndicate managed by Mr. J. Herriot. It's by Fairy King, Fantasia from Benzina, five-year-old Bay Gilding, a lightly raced horse, six to, uh, 17 starts prior to today, so 18 now for six wins, three seconds and three thirds. The runner-up, Mars King, is by Mars K from Katie's Kingdom, prepared by Jack Denham, Seamunts the Rider, and Luther's by Kenny Ladd from Cushti, John Hawkes, Larry Cassidy. The winning margin was two and three-quarter lengths, with a short head between second and third. The overall time was 1.36.18. 1.36.18, that's well outside the record. The first 800 was 49.42, and the last 600 took 35.66. The official fourth was confirmed. Seven, Fantasia, 440 and 170. Number six, Mars King, 240. Number five, Luther, 280. $17.70, Quinella. 
for number one traveller summit. Thank you very much. Stalls are back there racing now on the inside black Samurai bounce quickly showing speed as Padishar after the start. Padishar ran straight to the front when they settled down and whipping around the outside Bull McCabe quickly takes it on. Bull McCabe took up the running and moved a length and a half to two to Padishar. Scenic Talk now went up third a length and a half further back in the race then came Vesti who's up in that first three in the early point followed by Black Samurai. Uh, behind those in the field now came Nomad Chief from Aggie's Heart just on midfield the rail. A length further back in the race then Bonds are blue from uh, further back than Manawa two. Outside at Gasoline and two last of all in the race is Bush Lawyer. Coming down to the 1,000 metre mark and the leader is Padishar by a length and a half to Bull McCabe. Third is Black Samurai and they're followed by Scenic Talk deep around Vesti back in the middle running fifth. Two further back then came Manawa two on the inside of Aggie's heart off the fence. Then Nomad Chief is starting to track a little deep. Around it goes Bush Lawyer. Then Bonds are blue and last of all is Gasoline. Padishar three quarters in front now from outside at Bull McCabe at the 650 and then Bush Lawyer has taken off around the outside three deep Black Samurai Vesti waiting for runs Scenic Talk is wider out Bonds are blue off the track from Nomad Chief then Aggie's Heart waiting for a run and further back in the race Manawa 2 and Gasoline in the straight Padishar a length and a half Black Samurai Bull McCabe's gone Vesti got up to third and then Aggie's Heart about four or five lengths off them going down towards a 300 metre mark now and Black Samurai hit the front from Vesti a length further back Aggie's Heart still closing rapidly now here it comes, Aggie's Heart. It's picking up Black Samurai, Vesti the middle. Aggie's Heart is starting to come over the top of them with Vesti. And Aggie's Heart's too good. Comes on to win. Wins three quarters on the line to Black Samurai. Ahead third, Vesti. A gap in the race, Padishar. And further back then, Gasoline. They're followed back on the inside by Manawa two. Well back in the race then, Nomad Chief. Bush Lawyer dropped out. Then Bonds are blue, followed by Bull McCabe and Cynic Talk last of all. One Aggie's Heart, 240 and 130. Three Black Samurai, 220. Two Vesti, 150. Correct weight. Wodonga race two on three, four and six. One Aggie's Heart of Flemington, two twenty one thirty. Number three Black Samurai to pay two dollars sixty and two Vesti one dollar and sixty cents. Correct weight Adelaide race one on one six four. We'll clear these totes. Then a Brisbane update, then to Tony at Queen Bee and Racing in the Witten, and Varian came out well, but Shell Harbour Lady missed it. But Varian's got a lead from Mirakesh and Evangeline. Cut above from a wide alley, going up into fourth. Posse followed closely by Countess Christie. Misfitting going through along the inside, followed by Zali, and then Sin Twin and Charlie Lass. Shalt not behind those horses next as they race to the home corner. Two lengths to Shell Harbour Lady, and a good margin off to Star Hazar. And the same can be said for Cabaret Girl. 500 left to go, and the favourite variant is the leader, Clearly by more than a length of Angeline Mirakesh third cut above fourth and then Countess Christie followed by Shalt not misfitting and sword and scepter heads the remainder over the rise at the 300 and variant shows the way Countess Christie gets a lovely run and goes after variant with cut above and then comes Mirakesh Evangeline's gone from Shalt not getting home well but Countess Christie race past variant followed on the outside by cut above but it's all Countess Christie and Countess Christie a great winner from Shalt not Third was cut above, followed by Variant, and then Evangeline Mirakesh, followed home then by Zali on the outside, a gap to Sin Twin, Cabaret Girl, Misfitting, Star Hazar, Shell Harbour Lady, and Charlie Lass in company with Sword and Scepter were the last two to complete the course. At the Barry Queenbian, three Countess Christie, 11.80 and 3.40, 10. Shalt not, $5, four, cut above, 10.90. Christie, written by Kevin Moses, got a lovely split as they came round the corner and she took full advantage of it and she raced away to win well and in New South Wales paid $12.70 and $3.70. Number three, Countess Christie is trained by Clary Connors at Warwick Farm for the Bell Reeve Stud Syndicate managed by Mr. and Mrs. R. F. Thompson, Mr. and Mrs. S. Perrin and the other owners are Mr. and Mrs. M. D. Perrin was bred by the Beamer Proprietary Limited Stud and is by Mars K from Brilliant Deduction. Now, the numbers are coming up manually here. Stand by for them. Okay, Judge, fire away. Number three is the winner. Yep. Yep. Ten. Ten is second. And four. Four is third. Fifteen ran fourth. Fifteen ran fourth. And, and that's as far as we go at the moment. Thanks, Craig. Okay, now the numbers are uh, officially coming up in field. Number three, the winner, Countess Christie, Kevin Moses. Number ten is second. 
Shalt not written by Greg Ryan. The dividend for 10 will be $4.10. A number four cut above John Marshall's third, and it'll pay $9.60. Now the Quinella will return. They're off and running now. Fapiano's son jumped a little awkwardly, and this time they're going to come down the outside rail. So how do you pick the straight six? And one of the best away, Fapiano's son from Peerage. They're on the outside fence early. Monty Verda showing very good speed, an easy charm coming over with it. Further back, walk on ice. Nazareth is coming away from the fence, and further back in the race, Eureka. And last of all, having trouble keeping up, Regal Highlander. Fapiano's son at the 450 metre mark in front from Monty Verde up second. A length and a half, Eureka from easy charm. Nazareth back near the inside. Two or three further back then to Peerage and back there with it. Uh, at the moment is walk on ice and tailed off as Regal Highlander. But going down to the 200 metre mark and Fapiano's son opens up. Puts four or five lengths on Eureka and Mondavert battling on very well from Nazareth. But Fapiano's son, a brilliant win. Fapiano's son wins about four lengths. Mondavert got second. Ahead in front of Nazareth third. Eureka fourth. A long gap in the race. Peerage. Easy charm. Walk on ice and tailed right off as Regal Highlander. One Fapiano's son, 190 the win, 120 the place. Four Monteverdi, 570, five Nazareth at $1.40. One Fabiano's son on Super Tab, 190, one even. Four Monteverdi, 460, no third. Or in fact, there will be a third for five Nazareth. 160, a new record new there. New record. 50.2, one and a photo. One and a photo here. Fabiano's son has cantered home. This time the runner's going straight down the outside rail of the first. The Phillies went to the inside rail, this time to the outside rail. And Fabiano's son found the fence, uh, railed straight down the outside with Montevert up second. Being niggled at a fair way out, but sticking on very well. No match for the winner, but Montevert a good run. And Nazareth is officially uh, third. One, four, five, one, four, five. Fapiano's son with the breeze behind it running 50.2. The record is 51. So if that time is electronically timed, it was hand-timed in the first. They've taken eight-tenths off the record set up by Kenny Ladd back in 1989. So that's a brilliant gallop if that time is right. And Fapiano's son has spread eagle the field to beat Montevert number four, a good debut second. Nazareth just wandering away from the bunch on the outside, getting in. Uh, closest towards the centre of the track uh, into third placing, but it's 1, 4 and 5 and 50.2, which is a blinding gallop. This is a bit of a flying machine too by the uh, the new stallion Dolphin Street from Fapiano's Girl, Vobus qualified runner. Dolphin Street, of course, standing at Collingrove here at Nagambi, and the horse is unbeaten, the first of the Dolphin Street uh, stock to race in Australia and two for two for this one, winning the listed... Fulham Park Plate in Adelaide and backing up with a listed win here. So uh, connections would be absolutely thrilled. And it's a terrific fillet for, uh, for Dolphin Street, the French horse. And more from... Uh... Chavog from the inside jump well. Speed Week is going to race him for the early lead. Brilliance is third and a length and a half to King Lotto followed by Spen, Manana, Bull Market and Rumpel. But Speed Week is going to outspeed Chavog at the moment and down towards the 850. Speed Week in front of half length on Chavog. Oh, he's really fired up Chavog. He wants to go quicker and the rider Greg Hall allowed him rain and past the 800. Chavog three quarters now. Speed Week. Oh, they've raced about six or seven lengths on Brilliance followed then by King Lotto and Spen. Five or six to Maniana, three quarters to Bull Market and three lengths to Rumpel. Up to the bend with 500 to go on the hot pot. Chavog is the leader. A length and a half on Speed Week being hard written. Five lengths, King Lotto, Brilliance and Spend. Two to the filly, Maniana, then Bull Market and Rumpel tailed off. In the straight, in the Brian Crowley, 300 to go. Greg Hall has a peep over the left side and another one on Chavog. And Chavog has increased his lead to six lengths on Spend and King Lotto. And then Maniana, but it's Chavog. He's running about a little over the last 150 but this is the real Chavog really bringing out now his true potentially seven lengths on Manana and down to the line he goes Chavog to blitz Manana nothing between Spend and King Lotto for third and then Brilliance followed by Bull Market Rumpel and Speed Week knocked up to run last oh he's really displaying his true ability nowadays Chavog and that really was a strong win one Chavog, 150, 110, 8 Manana, 130, and it is a photo for third there. It's just over a second outside the race record, and in New South Wales, he's paid 160 and 110. Number one. Photo will be called for minor placings. The filly has got home pretty well, Manana. She's one of them involved in a terrific finish for the second, third, and fourth. Number eight is second. 
and that is Manana, written by Larry Cassidy, has paid a dividend of 150. And number five gets third spend, written by Jim Byrne, and $1.60 is the return. One number five spend 130 on Super Tap. By Jack Denham for Mr. and Mrs. Jeff White, bred by Mr. R.F. Thompson, by Dane Hill from Startling Lass. So they don't come much bed, uh, better bread, do they? A Bay Cult 3, and written by Greg Hall. A runner-up, number eight, Manana, a filly by Crown Jester from K. Sarah Sarah, a chestnut filly trained by John Hawkes, Larry Cassidy, and third going to spend a three-year-old chestnut gelding by Geiger Counter from Univolta, prepared here by Graham Rogers and written by Queensland's Jimmy Byrne. The uh, Quinella. Off and running now. Marty Zaclap, one of the first out with the outsider Premiership Lass and amazing away quickly with Joe and his lady and Aperto. Carla's voice is just behind those settling down from the outside cool court. El Birami back about seventh. Then Trelini Royal Mystique followed by Replicate and further back in the race Barbella. Then came Branter, the inside of it moving forward and Kona ran and last of all as they go to the back would have been considerate. Up to the back of the track of the 1600 and the leader here is Amati Zaclat in front about three quarters of Perto up second. Two further back Amati and third, Joanna's Lady running fourth, the length for the back Premiership Lass is fifth. Outside at Carla's Voice, and there are a couple of lengths to Al Burami. Cool Court outside it, a length and a half replicate, one to Trelini and then Royal Mystique. Further back in the race, then Ancona Ann, followed by Branda Barbella, and two lengths last of all is considerate. At Chiquita Lodge now, and Joanna's Lady has taken over the roll in front and moved out about two and a half in front from Amati's Aclat, who's pulling. Aperto is third, a neck away on the outside of it. Two further back, Amazing running fourth, Premiership Lassie inside, fifth from Carla's voice, then El Burami from Cool Court on the inside replicate, then Trelini Royal Mystique and further back Ancona and Branda Babella and consider it last of all. Coming up towards the 8.50 metre mark now and the leader is Joanna's Lady about three quarters in front. Outside it, Amati's a clat and the neck then to Aperto is out three deep. Two lengths further back, Amazing. They're followed behind those by El Burami, the inside Premiership Lass. Cool Court, the grey is wide around the outside there of Carla's voice. Coming up to the turn now, they've gone to the 600 metre mark. Joanna's Lady from Amati's a clat and a neck to the outside of Perdo. Four out is Carla's voice when they turn, followed by Cool Court. Burami following a Perdo and back behind them, Premiership Lass, amazing. Then Replicate and further back is Ancona Ran. In the straight, Joanna's Lady being tackled by a Perdo out in the middle. A Perdo has ranged up to Joanna's Lady and then El Burami. Further back in the race, Amati's a clat, followed by Cool Court. A Perdo, the leader, El Burami coming after it from Cool Court. El Burami's moved up to a Perdo at the 100 metre mark. A Perdo's fighting back. El Burami just in front of Aperto and Cool Court. El Burami a neck in front of Aperto and El Burami. El Burami a half length of Aperto, a length third Cool Court. A gap brand a fourth, followed for the back by Amazon. Then came Royal Mystique, followed by Amati Zaclat and uh, Trelini. Carla's voice from Ancona and Joanna's Lady. Further back, consider it a gap to replicate. Then Premiership Lass and last of all is Barbella. Three El Burami, 440 and 180. 11 Aperto, $1.60. Third five Cool Court, 250. Three El Barami to pay 450 and 180. Number 11, Aperto, 175, Cool Court, 220. Went. El Burami was sure to follow and got up to Aperto in the straight. He showed a bit of kick, Aperto, but El Burami has beaten about a half length in the run of the post. And the well back Cool Court has got into third placing, number five. 3115, 3115. Number eight is fourth, and that is Branter. And fifth in is number 12, and that's amazing. After the running of the light fingers, El Burami, number three, is the winner. Number three, written by Craig Williams, number three. El Burami, about a half length over Aperto and about three quarters to uh, the third runner, which tracked wide most of the way, and that was Cool Court. In fact, it was off the track all the way, uh, the grey. And it, it, it's been a decent go. It's been tens until about five to one, Cool Court. El Burami, uh, given a, a good ride by Craig Williams. Uh, Aperto just had to come out three deep and face the breeze for about the last 800. He quickly got up to those leaders of Marty Aclat and a company uh, when they turned, and Joe and his lady, of course, when they turned for home. He hit the front of Perto and then uh, tracking right behind him was the eventual winner. And that was uh, El Burami. And the third thriller. They're off this time. Old Northern Emperor just a little bit slowly out of the machine at a high speed. Was one of the smartest to begin, commencing pretty well. Was on the outside Hawaiian night and going up very quickly. Perfect rapture and he'll lead. And settling at the end of 300, perfect rapture from high speed Hawaiian night. Then good looking on the inside of Aquas off and then comes Sydney Flyer. Followed by Northern Emperor of the Ravalli, Jelly Bean Road preferred date. And Lucky Simba, the oldest runner at 10, has tailed off onto the first corner. And going past the 1,000, 
the leader is Perfect Rapture by three and a half high speed. Two lengths Hawaiian night, a half to three quarters the inside. Good look on the knack was off. Off the track is Sydney Flyer from Northern Emperor parked inside the Ravelli. Preferred date is third last from Jelly Bean Road and five lengths to Lucky Simba. Going down to the halfway marker at the 800 and Perfect Rapture steadied in the lead by Chris Munts. It's about a length and a half clear on high speed. Third is Hawaiian night a trifle wide. Two lengths to good looking on the inside of Aqua's off. Being given a nice run by Robert Thompson. Three deep next as they travel to the corner Sydney Flyer. Two to Northern Emperor the Valley off the course is Jelly Bean Road. Second last is preferred dated about six lengths to our lucky Simba. Homeward bound in the Zudubo Country Cup and it's still perfect rapture. About a length on high speed. Aqua's off called upon now. Northern Emperor the inside from good luck and Sydney Flyer Hawaiian night but perfect rapture got away. At the 200 perfect rapture put two lengths high speed Sydney Flyer. Aqua's off can't do any better. Jelly Bean Road from a long way back but it's all perfect rapture. He's getting a little tired but it's all the way on the Zoo Dubbo Country Cup to perfect rapture. Second is Sydney Flyer. Jelly Bean Road might have just knows high speed for third and then came on the outside preferred date over Aqua's off the Ravelli good look and followed in by Northern Emperor Hawaiian Knight and Lucky Simba the eldest runner in the field at 10 was the last one over the line. Ryan Callaghan trained one uh, perfect rapture to return 370 and one dollar. Bido got away okay after the jump away and one of the first out, Juga Jug on the inside. Bido travelling forward quickly up second, brilliant powered third now from Kialan. Here's Bonesto going around the outside with Norfolk Island and they're rushing up towards the front when they settle down and Bonesto on the inside of Norfolk Island get out two in front from uh, Bebeto running third on the outside of Juga Jug, a length further back Royal Centurac running fifth, Brilliant Poet sixth, a half then to Shekel and further back then Red Bastan, then Kia Land from Ferdinand, C Jester getting back from Ron Wan, they're followed by Red Bastan further back Red Carson Zabuan, last of all Atlantic Comet at the 1200 metre mark in Norfolk Island, he's having trouble uh, holding this, Marie Payne out in front about three lengths in front now from Bonesto and they've got out about four or five in front of Bebeto uh, running third on the outside of over on the fence Juga Juga Jug fourth, and they're about three lengths Royal Centurac. They're well strung out from Brilliant Poet running six, two further back Shekel. Then to the outside, Red Bastan, further back C Jester. He's 15 lengths off the front, further back then Ferdinand Kialan. Then Mappingly, Ron one, two further back Red Carson, followed by Zabuan, and last of all, Atlantic Comet. The pace has been keen, and the leader Norfolk Island at the 700 metre mark, two and a half in front of Bonesto. Two further back in the race, then came Juga Jug third. Outside at Bebeto running fourth when they turn, followed by Brilliant Poet who's right behind Bebeto, further back in the race in Juga Jug. They're followed by Red Bastan to the inside from Ron One In the straight, Norfolk Island in front from Bonesto. Bebeto further out and Brilliant Poet up the middle of the track. Always finishing very well, Brilliant Poet. He gets up to Bebeto. Then further back, Juga Jug. Bebeto and Brilliant Poet come away now from Shekel running on fairly and then see Jester laid out wide. But the grey Brilliant Poet sprinted to the front at the 100 metre mark is holding Bebeto. Then Shekel, see Jester, Ferdinand the fence from Mappingly. But Brilliant Poet far too good wins a length and a half second in the race would have been Bebeto Shekel or C Jester for third and a photo from Mappingly to the inside Ferdinand then Kialan then Bonesto Ron One Atlantic Comet further back in the race Juga Jug then Red Carson followed by Norfolk Island and walking over the line Royal Sancturac is tailed off one brilliant poet, 980 and 330. Six Bebeto, two dollars for third. Ten shekel, 250. Five C Jester, 170. Number one. Super Tab, one brilliant poet, 930, 320. Six Bebeto, Bebeto, two dollars and those for third. Ten shekel, 270. Or number five, C Jester, 170. Treble, 131, 96 dollars 40. Shekel or out wide, C Jester. In a photo for third placing, one six in a photo, one six in a photo. Mark Flaherty riding the winner and five gets third out wide. C Jester, number five, just snaring third after getting a hundred yards behind them. With a one.